embattled controversial election supervisor of Broward County, Florida, has produced a suitable ending. Brenda Snipes has resigned. Snipes facing criticism for her failure to comply with Florida law in the 2018 midterms after years of incompetence and skullduggery. President Trump called for her to be fired just days ago. Her resignation takes effect. Are you ready? She's a lame duck. Her resignation effective in January, taking a page out of, well, someone we all know's uh, book. Uh, joining me now, social media superstars, President Trump's most loyal supporters, Diamond and Silk, great to have you with us. Uh, let me start by asking you, uh, will there be now national left-wing media focus on the fact this president has achieved a, uh, a, a, a terrific victory uh, for the U.S. Senate enlarging the GOP majority? It should be. They should focus on that. But you yeah. know they're not. What they will focus on, the left-wing media, is start throwing the racist word around, or this is racist, or somebody is being racist towards me. I absolutely love, and I'm so thrilled that Brenda uh, Snipes, I, that she's stepping down. Yes. She should have been fired a long time ago, because if you look at what she yeah. did um, in this whole process, is what they were trying to do. They were they were doing a rehearsal, getting prepared for the 2020 run. That's right. It was going to be the art of the steel, and I want everybody, I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, to look at that. When you break our election laws and do what you want to and not answer questions that should be answered, That's right. you're trying to take something you're trying to steal, but she should have been fired a long time ago. You know, Governor-elect uh, DeSantis saying that there was no way that she was going to be uh, the election supervisor through another election. Uh, I I'm amazed that they put up with uh, uh, the shenanigans. Uh, I'm being very kind, the cheating and the stealing uh, in that elections uh, office for as long as they did. The White House press corps, let's turn there. Uh, new rules, uh, we can call them the, uh, I don't know what, the Acosta rules, I don't know what you would want to call them, uh, in which the whole press corps gets to ask one question. They've got to be civil and they've uh, got to uh, be kind of focused on their manners. Uh, what do you think? Well, yeah. listen, I absolutely love it. I think Acosta, if he wants to be respected as a journalist, he has to respect the White House and respect the president. He's going right. to have to do that. No more acting like a baby. No more wanting to suck on your pacifier. We're not going to put you in timeout. <sighs> if you do, if you defy the rules, That's right. you're going to get thrown out, That's not right. in timeout, but up out that White House, and your press credentials are going to be taken again. So the bottom line is this, Lou. If you act like a child, you will be treated like a child. I think bottom that line. And certainly in the presence of the president of the United States uh, and in the White House itself, I would think that would come as second nature to any uh, any American. Uh, let, let me uh, let me turn first to uh, if in, in terms of foreign policy, a president who has introduced the entire country and all of our trading partners to an extraordinary concept. We're going to have balanced trade. You're not going to steal from us by the hundreds of billions of dollars a year anymore. Uh, specifically, that case uh, obviously fits China. They, they're behaving like children. They want to be able to keep stealing, and they think that we should be subsidizing their economy and buying their products, no matter what the impact is on our workers and our corporations. Your thoughts about the Chinese having just a bit of a fit over this insistence the, by the president? Well, they're going to have to stop having this little hissy fit. That's because right. Because you have a new sheriff in town. Mm -hmm. It's President Donald Trump, and he's a businessman. And it's going to be fair and equal trade across the board. Yeah. You're not going to steal from us, and mm -hmm. they're going to have to get that through their head. He, and President Trump is not going to waver, nor is he going to back down. I know that they're used to uh, dealing with weak presidents like President Obama and the rest of them, yeah. but you have a strong president that's, that's not right. going to tolerate. And you have a strong president that's putting America first, baby. It's about America because charity starts at home, not abroad.